Man, it's taking a while for this cold to go away. I guess it normally takes about seven days anyways, even if it goes away quickly, so I just gotta be patient. This morning I woke up to some nice YouTube comments from yesterday's video, so that was really nice. One person said that my videos cure their ADHD boredom, which is surprising because I thought in order to cure ADHD boredom you needed to have like Mr. Beast level, really fast paced videos, but uh, yeah, so that was a nice comment to hear. She's following me everywhere. I go upstairs, she follows me. I go downstairs, she follows me. <laughs> oh, what do you want, Mochi? And now Tigger's following me too. So I was listening to the slight edge during my walk this morning and it said that success does not lead to happiness. Happiness leads to success. Be happy and the reason will come. And it's pretty much saying the exact same thing as this other program, Your Wish Is Your Command, which is all about manifestation, where in that program he says, your number one priority should be to feel good right now. It should be to feel good right now and keep feeling better. The more you feel good right now, the more thankful you are, the more you attract things in your life that make you feel good and that make you feel thankful. Now, some people might write this off as some woo-woo magic and that it doesn't work and it's just spiritual bullshit, but I think they're definitely getting to some truth. If you practice daily happiness and are a pretty happy person, especially in the midst of turmoil or anything like that, even without looking at the future where things come back to you in a karmic way or anything, you're instantly doing way better than a negative and pessimistic person who is just totally full of complaints and unhappy about their situation. So being happy in the present moment is key. So then the question is, how do we become happy in the present moment? And I've made a video about this in the past, outlining just a few different things from the Your Wish Is Your Command audio. Listen to music you love, dance and sing to it, go for a walk, eat healthy, meet friends, ask yourself what you're thankful for, say or do something nice for someone, and accept the present moment without resisting. Eckhart Tolle talks so much about that last point. There are small daily things that you can do every single day. Writing three things that you're grateful about every day and don't make them the same thing every day. Letting go of unpleasant feelings, which is what the book Letting Go is all about, and from what I got from that book, although I have to revisit it because it's been a while since I was reading it, in order to let go of difficult feelings, you have to focus on the feeling, the physical sensations that are within your body instead of thoughts. So you focus on the feeling in your body and you accept that it's there and that it's going to stay there for a while. You don't know how long, but you're just gonna accept that it's going to continue to be there for the time being. Very simple to say, very difficult to do, especially when you're boiling over with emotion. They also suggested meditation, even if it's just two minutes a day. In the slight edge, he says not even to try and do all these things at once, but just pick one of those things that I mentioned and try to do it on a daily basis. Once that becomes a habit, try adding one more thing and then doing that on a daily basis. Another thing I learned while I was reading Reality Transurfing today is that the reason why we're so stressed usually is because we attach too much importance to the thing. So the key to reducing stress is to reduce the importance. Now he doesn't say how to reduce the importance, so I'm guessing all I can think of is just telling yourself it's not that important. The book says that the key thing that's difficult is to remind yourself to reduce importance instead of being caught and lost in your thoughts. So when you come to the present moment, and this is where meditation comes in because you can do this faster if you're meditating, you come to the present moment where you're not lost in your thoughts and you say, oh, right, this isn't as important as I think it is. And by reducing this importance, saying this is not as important as you think it is, it lowers your stress, or at least that's what the book says. And I think it makes sense. So instead of my affirmations, which I wrote for a couple times, 
Uh, today I wrote, thank you, thank you, thank you. What am I thankful for? My dad who gave me menthol candy for my sore throat. Mochi who keeps begging me and won't leave me alone. Kind of annoying, but at the same time, I'm glad she's still alive. And Tigger who sleeps with me and then comes again in the morning for cuddles when I get out of bed in the morning. Happiness leads to success. Feel good now. So those are some insights from the content that I consumed today from the audiobook Slight Edge, although I mixed in some lessons that I had from before from the book Letting Go and what I just mentioned from Reality Transfer Transurfing about reducing importance. She will not leave me alone. I gave her dinner and everything. Okay, so here's my step counter for today. I'm glad I listened to this book again because you always get something new the second time or third time or whatever time that you're listening to it even if it's reaffirming something that you've heard before oh yeah and as a side note i was watching a video by gabby a friend from our weekly mastermind calls with small youtube creators she's also daily uploading actually she was one of the inspirees inspirers inspirers to for me to upload a daily series as well and in her latest daily upload she was talking about how she was starting to sacrifice content trying to appeal to the audience as much as possible instead of making content she wants and she found that that's not the way to go because the one consistent audience member that's the most important is herself so making content that she enjoys the most she thinks is more important than making content that will please the most number of people so like including footage that some other people might find boring but footage that she likes so she would include that instead of just cutting it out and trying to keep it tight and compact and I thought that was such a good point in this authentic YouTube series that both me and Gabby are doing, I think it really is important that we focus on making content that we ourselves want to watch and putting that as priority number one instead of trying to make content that as many other people want to watch. So thank you Gabby for sharing that insight in your video. Right now it's 6.15 p.m. so I'm going to try and get to bed by 10 p.m. just like yesterday. I need to get better as soon as possible. Mochi. You wanna say it with me? 1% better every day, baby.